In this video, let's learn how to navigate to different routes using an element in the UI. For our scenario, let's add a navbar in the app component with two links, one to the home page and one to the about page. On click of these links, we should be able to navigate between the two routes. Let's head back to VS Code and implement this. In the components folder, I'm going to create a new file, navbar.js. Within the file, let's define a simple navbar. Navbar is the component name and for the JSX, I'm going to add the nav tag. Within the nav tag, we need two clickable elements to navigate between the routes. To navigate to another route, React Router provides us with the link component. So at the top, import link component from React Router DOM, and then within the nav tag, invoke the component. The link component renders an anchor element in the DOM, so we can specify text similar to the anchor text. So home, and a second link with text about. But instead of the href attribute, we specify the to prop. To this prop, we assign the path of the configured route. So home is going to be just the forward slash, and for about, to is going to be slash about. Let's include this component in app component. Wrap the JSX with fragments and include the navbar. Make sure to import the component at the top. If we now take a look at the browser, we should be able to see home and about links. Although styling is not the focus in the series, I'm going to add some basic styling to this navbar to make it presentable. In index.css, I'm going to add some styling to the nav tag and also an anchor element within the nav tag. If you now head back to the browser, you should see a much better nav bar. We are currently at localhost port 3000 and hence we see the home page. If I click on the about link, we are navigated to slash about and the about page is rendered. Click on home link. We are navigated back to the root and the home page is rendered. Also, if I inspect the link element, you can see it is an anchor tag with an href attribute, slash and slash about. So this is how you can make use of the link component for client-side navigation. That is, navigating within the application. If your intention is to navigate to an external website, you can use a plain old HTML anchor tag. Now at this point, you might have one question in your mind. In the route config in app.js, we have specified just about as the path, whereas in the navbar component, on the link component, we have specified slash about. Why is that? Well, to be honest, even if I were to remove this forward slash and head back to the browser, the behavior remains the same, about page, home page. However, the behavior can change depending on the route we are currently rendering the link component from. Now that is what is called as relative path and we will learn about it in a future video. For now, we're going to work with absolute routes where the path will begin with a forward slash and match the same route in the route config. Slash about with about. In the next video, let's take a look at styling the active link in our navbar. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.